Order and ask court to call the roll, please. Okay. <coughs> Dr. Lee? Here. Ms. Uh, Walden? Here. Ms. Shenholster? Here. Mr. Joyner? Here. Mr. Mullins? Here. Mr. Chambers? Here. Thank you. We do have a quorum present. Welcome everybody to the meeting this evening. If you would stand for the prayer and pledge, please. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to live in this community, and we thank you for the opportunity to serve. We ask that you would be with this body this evening, that you would give us discernment and judgment as we take up the business of our neighbors and friends. Lord, we ask that you be with our state leaders and our national leaders as, as they provide those services for us also. And Lord, we always ask that you be with those who serve both here locally, our state, and our country, both here and abroad. We thank you for all that you do for us, and we ask these things in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Council, I'll entertain a motion for the adoption of the October 11th council meeting minutes. So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Any additions, deletions, or corrections? Hearing none, ask the court to call the roll, please. Dr. Lee? Aye. Ms. Walden? Aye. Ms. Shinholster? Aye. Mr. Joyner? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. Thank you. That passes. We have no old business. We'll move to new business. I'll ask the clerk if he would read the special event application, uh, excuse me, alcohol license application. Yes, sir. This is a special events application for Amy Wright on behalf of Georgia's Old Capitol Museum for an event at 601 West Hancock, which is the Brown Spencer Sanford House, for an event to be held on December 6, 2011. Council, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. The motion and a second. Any discussion? Uh, we, yes, we don't have it. You don't? That's a pretty good little description in the front, but we're aware of it, we just don't have it. Okay. I didn't prepare these, so I apologize. Would you like to continue? Would you have a motion and a second on the table. Would you like to continue? Any other discussion? You're not asked for to call the roll, please. Dr. Lee? Aye. Ms. Walden? Aye. Ms. Shinholster? Aye. Mr. Joyner? Aye. Mr. Mullins? Aye. Mr. Chambers? Aye. That passes. Thank you. Uh, Council members, Partners for Progress has asked for just a moment of your time to uh, introduce uh, the uh, new chair uh, for this term and also uh, extend an invitation to Council. And at this point in time, I'd like to call on uh, Renee uh, Fontenoy, please. Good evening and thank you. I'm Renee Fontenot. I'm the Chair for Partners for Progress, the Grassroots Initiative here in Baldwin County. We have six initiatives in front of us that were given to us last year by the people at the Voices for Progress meeting that we held in March. Those initiatives are education, business development, economic development, transportation, retirement, and government. Merritt and Massey in a moment will share with you a government issue. I encourage all of you to uh, stay informed, to be participants. I know several of you were at the Voices for Progress meeting and have participated in some of the committees. Thank you, and uh, we look forward to your continued support. I'll turn it over to Massey. In the March, in the March uh, Partners for Progress meeting in the 
government breakout session. The citizens instructed the government committee to educate the community on the subject of unification. In continuing the educational process, Partners for Progress is inviting all citizens of Milledgeville, Baldwin County to four community meetings on unification. And Professor Harry Hayes with the University of Georgia, Carl Vinson Institute of Government, will present an educational program on city county unification. The meeting dates and locations are as follows. Thursday, November 10th at 6 p.m. at Flag Chapel Church, Baptist Church. Tuesday, November 15th at 6 p.m. the Baldwin County Recreation Department. Thursday, November 17th, 12 noon at Digital Bridges. And Saturday, November 19th at 10.30 a.m. at Baldwin County Recreation Department. The subject of unification <coughs> has many variations. Partners for Progress hopes that everyone in the community will come and become more informed on that subject. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Francis. I'd like to ask a question. Are you going to advertise this? I'm not supposed to answer questions, but I will answer that one. But yes, we're going to put it I just want to know that the community yes. is going to be aware of the yes. dates and times yes, and where it's going to be. Yes. Yeah, Ms. Walton, I agreed to allow them to come just to, in order for, to extend the invitation to give us information, but uh, that will be, that okay. will be advertised. I just want to make sure that we was going to have the dates and the, it's going to be advertised. Sure. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> if there's no further business to come before council, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Any opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. <coughs> Can you give me a copy of the work?